Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for, you know, just sending out this information that you truly need to know while asking the information you truly need to know on me being a part of that, being able to give you that information back or validation or confirmation that you need to know about this one in your life to know that you are not alone knowing that you are not going crazy and knowing better days are on this way so please be patient so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you are if you've been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video and if you feel like you are comfortable now please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or if just up telling me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction and also if you feel like the video has been giving you good vibes or just good you know good information that you truly need to go ahead and share with somebody who really needs to hear it at that time please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for stopping by my channel and showing love and support to me with which i truly appreciate each and every day and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video y'all i said i'm not gonna do no more videos this is saturday night i've been doing these videos for the last what four hours it's like my ninth video, but you know, if universe tell me I can push out some more on my dad, dad gonna sure try. So, you know, getting about back to back to back as much as I can. Because, you know, we're going through so much. And I know in a short period of time, you know, I don't know when this stuff is going to kick off. So they're telling me to put out this information, that information. So I'm going to do my best and send out as much videos as I you know, possibly can. So today, this uh, beautiful meditation, I'm going to turn it up a little bit. But I said I try not to get it too loud because, you know, certain beats can kind of ricochet off the, you know, off the microphone on my laptop. And it might sound kind of weird, but I know on this side, you know, it's very beautiful and very powerful. And which, <laughs> which is the name of it, you know, which the word of it is in this meditation is called Powerful 12,000 Hertz Third Eye and Kundalini Activation. And I will post that link in the description box below. Um, if you start feeling... A little I, I feel like vibes going through my body like somebody got vibrations going through it so it feels very good and calming so if you're feeling that you know like tingling going up and down your body is from the vibes off the video so you know you might need that but anyways today my video is about twin flame 101 when your gift the impact of your gift is intimidating y'all it can be it can be really intimidating if you're not ready for that because a lot of us we're not prepared for the things that's coming towards us and it can be scary at times. I've did one-on-ones with people where they get frustrated. And it can be scary. I, I mean, I don't got like that where I had to close off myself because I felt like I was about to go crazy. And it's just like something our body has to go through. Our mind has to process again. These are things that we have done so many times. And it's like our veil, you know, from, you know, when we had this veil come on. And we've done it in the last life. You know, when this, when you're, it's like. Your, your mind comes a gate. You know, everything comes flying in. Sometimes it can fly in and all at one time. I've met people like that and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to send you so many blessings. I said, calm down, calm down. You know, and I mean, you can have five or six different daggone gifts coming at you at all at one time because they needed you to download that at, at one time. And you probably still got some more coming in, but they needed you to process this situation first before they can bring in the next stuff that's coming in. Because I mean, y'all, I don't went through some stuff. Like I said, if you have not been with me, that long you know i'm getting a lot of new subscribers which i'm so blessed to have and i i love each and every one of y'all i'm glad i can be able to contribute towards the things that you're going through in life especially on this crazy you know journey um uh, going through that stuff can be very intimidating i mean it's just like when if you especially if you're not you know in tune with the things of the unknown you know, and all these com things coming at you, you know, you might have noticed certain things like when we were younger, you know, if you're an empath, when you're an empath, they were a lot stronger when you were young because, if, you know, when you were young like that, there's a lot of things that you didn't understand, but you were more prone to have vibrate towards you. Like when I was little, I was able to see people that weren't there 
I was able to know about what happened into my life before. You know, I've told people, you know, my other videos. <laughs> Me and my mom used to get in arguments. Cause I told her I was a twin that died. You know, my mom was like, why are you knowing about these things? This is so disturbing. You shouldn't be talking like this. You know, and she used to tell my dad that my dad was like, oh my God, my daughter's so, my baby's special. You know, um, because he, she knew what he was talking about, but it kind of creeped him out. But it didn't, you know, it put a lot of meaning to the things that he was feeling towards me that way. So, you know, being able to know these things, it was crazy because it's like I used to talk like this when I was a, ch a child, like three and four years old, when you were able to really talk. So it was a lot of things my mom said I was doing very advanced for my age when I was little. And it was like really weird. So it, it's just like a lot of things that... Um, I suppressed a lot of times there was times that you know I had to go to therapy you know because I was having you know night terrors from the things I was experiencing that was too much for me to wear if you know it gave me some kind of weird psychosis so you know it was like going through all that and having to have your brain like wiped out and warped you know and then all that stuff start coming back at one time it was like um I knew there was things that was missing right after my father passed away. I knew there was things that I knew, but I wasn't pinpointing, putting two and two together. And I had to go watch this movie called Get Out. You know, I don't know if any of y'all watched that movie before, but when it was just hearing it now, like they got a new movie with uh, Taraji P. Henderson. I think that's her last name called One of Women Want. There was like a, a male version with it with Mel Gibson, What a Girl Wants. And now she's seeing that, and then she was like, I drank this tea, and then this white guy was like, didn't I thought black folks stopped drinking tea after they saw Get Out? <laughs> I started busting out laughing. Like, ever since I saw uh, Get Out, I get mad, or I, when somebody says they're drinking tea and they start stirring stuff or drinking coffee, I'm like, look, you put me on mute while you're talking to me and you stirring yourself, because don't do that to me. Because that can mess me up, you know, because it's like when I want to go see that thing, you know, that movie and hearing that woman clinging up against, you know, coffee cups. So I see a coffee cup. I'm going to a complex. Like, what you got to do with that cup? You know, I'm like, oh, last time somebody pulled a coffee cup out on me, all things broke, you know, all hell broke loose. So it was really intimidating to have everything that was suppressed for so long. And I had put get in, got put in hypnosis for me to be able to forget everything. And everything came fluttering back all at one time. And I was in public where, you know, this was the first weekend that Get Out was out. And it was like a full packed house. And I did not need to have a panic attack in the middle. So I'm just sitting up here about to scream in my shirt. And I'm having a fit. My friend's like, oh, I slick saw you do that. And he's like, but I wasn't going to say that. And I was just going to wait until we were by ourselves to talk about it. But that was just enough for me to like, what the heck wrong with you? You know, and I didn't want to tell her what was going on. And I was just like... I was act, acting like uh, sweet, I think, not Sweeney Todd, um, Johnny Depp, I forgot his name, on um, Sleepy Hollow. Oh, my God. You know, you know, just freaking out like, oh, my God, it's there. You know, <laughs> just like, oh, my God, I went through all this at one time. And all these memories came fluttering back, you know. And it was just like knowing all the things that happened to me while I was a child that was suppressed out of my mind because I had night terrors from it all came fluttering back at one time. For me to have to, you know, be able to use this towards my gift that I had was very intimidating, very scary. And you have to be able to, you know, put yourself into, I don't know what you want to say, just where you can take a breather and try to take, you know, take, take the time just like, okay, this happened. Um, okay, I got to accept this. This is very intense. You know, you have to really, you have to really, like, calm yourself down because it can be very intimidating because it's just like some people are blessed enough to where one one possibly two will come in mine it was like about 10 or 12 situations that came all all in at one time while i was dealing with my spiritual awakening and kundalini and ascension and integrating at one time you know i was coming forth and the veil got snatched off so i'm going through everything all at one time so yeah i went start raving mad you know and it was like this is when I first really started doing videos. So it was kind of crazy going through situations like that. But trust and believe, you know, I know it can be intimidating, but you have to find something that can calm you and put you in a happy spot and knowing, okay, you don't want to deny it to yourself about what things are going on. Because if you start denying things and trying to act like it's not there, and you're not trying to resolve the fact is, hey, this is a part of me and I need to learn as much as I need to know. You know, when you can finally get over that initial shock, read up on the things that you are you know when certain words come to you that's not familiar to you 
write them down and see what they're trying to tell you. There's times I don't blurt out words like, what the heck is this? I didn't even know what a solar plexus is. One time, what the heck is a solar plexus? You know, and I had to find out all these things. So I'm hearing it in my head, you know, because I'm, you know, stomach messing up and all like, I'm like, oh my God, what's wrong with me? And I hear my dad say, solar plexus, baby, solar plexus, plexus. You know, I'm like, daddy, what are you talking about, solar plexus? They're like, girl, you don't know what it is. You know, and I had to go read it up. I'm like, oh, you know, I felt kind of slow at the moment, you know, but it was okay. I know that universe had my back. My dad had my back. Um, Divine had my back. Source had my back. Utmost God did too. So knowing you have to go through these things for a good reason, knowing that you had to go through this to be a process of what you're going to head towards now. So it's just like when it gets intimidating, and it can be a scary situation. You know, I send utmost energy, comforting energy, uh, loving energy towards your way. And knowing these things are not coming into your life to scare you, intimidate you. It can be surreal. Trust me, they can't be that. Because there's sometimes I look at my dad like, really? You, you know, this is really happening to me? You know, and I, I used to be that way because it's just like, it took me a minute to have that soak in. I mean, there's sometimes I still look at certain situations and I have to bust out laughing because I can't believe I'm still going through this. But I am so humble and blessed to be able to do things like this because when I can be able to help you and give you some kind of validation or confirmation, it's okay. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to not have everything all at one time. You know, some of us trying to figure out if we're going to figure out everything in one time. They didn't build Rome in one day. You need to not be gentle with yourself. And I tell a lot of people that be gentle with yourself because that is a lot to deal with because sometimes it can put you in a panic mode. Your anxiety goes straight through the roof. You start breathing funny, you know, start going through situations that you really truly don't because you're putting too much on yourself at one time. It's already enough when you get all this download by, you know, that's enough. But when you're, you know, you're trying to do everything at once to try to figure everything out, you know, figure it out layer by layer. You know, they're like, okay, we're giving you this situation. This is your gift. And you're like, this is a gift. I don't want this gift. Give it back. You know, but this is the gift that you were served. You have served this gift before. There are some times I have to tell people, you know, if I'm reading them, I'm like, you did this so many times before. It's just they, they had to put that veil on you for this, this life because you were that precious. You didn't need to know this yet. Now that they feel like you're ready for it, it's about to get snatched off. So what is your point on going to do with it? What are you going to do with it at that point? So, you know, be easy with yourself. Be gentle. Learn what you need to know. You know, there are certain things about yourself that you're not sure of. Google it. If You know, if you're on my channel, you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, I always tell people to get a hold of me via email. I have all that on the end. You know, if, when you go to the descriptions and see what I'm about, you can get with me under my name on messenger i don't really accept people on my page page because i do have some people there but i feel more comfortable with you just hit me up on messenger so you can be able to hit me up there you know i'll try my best to help you out as much as i can so as i said that was 13 13 uh and i'll help you out you know i'm going through my things as, as you know as it is but i love to be able to help people for them to be able to get the concept of what they're going through to know they had to go through this crazy situation to get where they need to be and knowing nothing happened on coincidence or accident so uh much love to y'all i'm giving a shout out to miss kimber and mr keith bush much love to you i hope everybody's all blessed and like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line i would love a chance to hear from you and share a video give me a thumbs up and much love to you and i hope you have a blessed safe week and many blessings your way know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and trust knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and i'll see you in my next video peace and be wild